Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 646. I'm your host, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Very fine side. Hey, hey. And Tony Corkinock. Yo. What's up, guys? Welcome, listeners. Welcome, viewers. We are live. I'm just checking it right now. We are live. We are live. I'm checking it. On Twitch. Streaming Tuesday night, starting at 8 o'clock. So uh, please join us. Let, leave us some questions, comments during the broadcast. We will answer them on the air. We'll try to. Uh, we get caught up in a topic. Sometimes we miss some of them. But uh, mm -hmm. just feel free to chat. And uh, please join us on Twitch. If you do miss this broadcast live, we are on YouTube the following day. So always subscribe to these two channels to get the latest and greatest from all of our stuff. Uh, and we do appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. So moviecast, folks. Yeah, you know what's been the, what's been good this week. Uh, Jim, your camera is terrible, by the way. Just saying uh, for all the viewers out there, if you want to see a terrible camera, it's pretty pretty is it, pixely. It's so bad. Pixelated? <laughs> is it? I could go back to the internal one. Was the internal one just as bad? I don't know. I'm just saying it's okay. not it's not good. But if you are ah. watching, you get a chance to see. Uh, Whoopsies. See it live here. <laughs> there we go. I'm twitching it out for those who are seeing it live, but. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It was um, it was an interesting week. I had a uh, unfortunate um, I was sick last week, and I apologize for missing the podcast. Um, but uh, I was sick for a week. Oh, what a bad bad week that was. I think it's your computer, um, Jim. I don't think it's. Your yeah, it might be. It might be. I just changed cameras. If it's the same way, I'm sorry, folks. I I left my good computer at work, so uh, I do not have that. This is the backup, so it's not as bad as the backup it used to be. But so I was uh, sick, but I did get to watch. Um, Let's see what did I watch. Oh, when you're I sick, you probably get, that's all you get to do. Well, right? you know, it was the sick where I didn't. I slept. I didn't do much at oh, all. Like I just, rough. yeah, I I did not. I did not have any desire. I didn't. You know, it was so weird. Is I didn't even touch work stuff. I'm usually the kind of guy that likes to do some work too while I'm home, and I didn't touch anything for a week. So this whole last week was me catching up on that and uh, just life stuff, you know. Um, but I did get to watch like Ted Lasso, obviously, which was again, like I think. As I'm watching this show, all I can think about is, man, how does this, how does this like show exist where it just it doesn't miss? Like I just love every episode. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just don't understand how that, how, how that's thing. I guess Tony, I guess back with the Office, we had that, right? I mean, we we had that until like season while. seven, right? Till the writer strike. Yeah. 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 yeah well, Which, no, that was four. Of. I think five was pretty good still. Season five. Wasn't it? Writer strike was season four. For the Office. Was it? Yeah, because yeah, when Steve Carell left in season seven, that's when you can start saying it was getting along in the two. Let's see. It was, what, 2008 we figured out last last week. So well, Season four. Season four was the 12-episode the season because of the writer's strike. Mm. So, I guess so. Um, yeah, no, I know I, I know my stuff with it. Uh, but like, I feel like I haven't had this vibe from a show since The Office pretty much. And oh, no, it, that's good. It, it's so good to, to have that. And, you know, I mean, there's... I'm trying to think of other movies that I watched. Um, you guys, you should guys still haven't caught a uh, Jury Duty yet. You should. I recommend it for all you Office fans. I really do. No, but uh, <laughs> I feel like um, I am really pixelated. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, I feel like uh, I'm trying to like I'm drawing a blank of stuff that I've watched. Of course, like up in the air. It's been two weeks, and I have watched a bunch of shows. Dragon Ball Super. I've watched a bunch more. I'm in episode one. 100 now yeah 90 something i'm in the high 90s so i'm up there moving through that i tried to find uh the gundam where, where are you watching well i don't know uh, crunchy roll i could try i guess for gundam Which, uh maybe i'm just yeah i know i'm just um i'm just asking like do you think mm -hmm. i can watch it on crunchy roll i think or funimation or it's on something to... i know it's on something i think it's i think i saw you can still do simulcast with like Amazon now, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so... one. I think you have to pay though, or whatever. You have to have yeah. a, a subscription. So whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I I keep seeing a bunch of my friends like just commenting like on Facebook, Twitter, you know, stuff like how much they love the show. So I'm like, I've I've got to get and watch this. So I I spent some time trying to find where I can watch that. Uh, I haven't get to watch the first episode yet, but um, I'm excited for that. So I'll be starting that. I'm not finishing. Did you watch the, I'm watching the YouTube it. one? It's free on YouTube. There's a prologue oh, episode. You can get a oh, little taste. First, yeah, then. just call it. It's just first. a prologue episode. Gives you a little, little, little taste. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's think... on. It's on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Other than that, I watch a lot of the older stuff. Uh, Smallville. Crazy enough. I mean, I guess. Wow! Wow! No. Wasn't but... there something I told you you needed to watch? Yeah. No, <laughs> yes. Spirit what was it? Uh, Spirit Away. You didn't watch that. In two no, weeks. 
No, my brain. No, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. I know. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> you I'm have sorry. homework, Jim. I know. You, you guys all expected me to watch it, and I, I fully expected it too because I own it now. I bought it. I did buy it to watch it. I just haven't watched it yet. That's um, all that counts. Yeah, that's half a step. I bought it. Counts. It, it, I have it, so it is going to be watched. Uh, you know, what? I will make you all a promise. I will make you all a promise right now. I will have this watched by next episode. I promise you all. I mean, to I promise can't. it to me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to put. I'm going to put out there now. Promise the listeners. Got to give them what they want. I, I, I will have it watched uh, by next episode. Um, watch what you want to watch, Jim. Don't get pressured. Watch, I owe. I owe. <laughs> he just I bought it. <laughs> I know. He but... just bought it. Why would he not <laughs> watch it if he bought it? I don't know. I have it. It Again, seems like he doesn't want to watch it because he has to. We've talked about <laughs> taking their seats. We've talked about this. Like when we're sick, it's like comfort shows and stuff. So again, yep. mm-hmm. I don't even know how Smallville came into that mm-hmm. rotation of things, but Transformers was in this. Uh, I've watched a whole bunch of older Michael shows. Bay? No, no, no. Shia? The cartoon. The G1? Cartoon. I think cartoon. all that's on YouTube, G1. actually. I caught like mm-hmm. some random episodes a while um, back. Cap- Captain N. I watched a bunch of Captain N. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. I, I ended up going back to some old '80s stuff, pretty much, is what I did. And uh, um, Speed Racer, the movie, though. Again, I had that on. You talked but, you about know, that the last time. No, I put it on again. I just put it on. I just put what it on. the fuck, I, dude? I, what I really, the fuck? You just watched that the other week. Because because I fell asleep. You can fall asleep to stuff like this. I've already seen it. You can't fall asleep to that other movie. I'm. I was so tired. I'm not watching something fresh. Oh my not. god. Not. So that's watch. fine, but like anything else, then, like you just rewent through that movie. That's great. It's great. I really oh, enjoy it. God. So, Your I viewing habits are weird. Yeah, I go through really fun, weird funks where I just watch some weird stuff. So, using uh, the, the the sick haze there. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a haze. Time was. and <laughs> time and space had no meaning anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was a haze. So no, it's okay. All right, uh, all right, Tony. I, I, let's get to you because I, I wanted to hear what you watched obviously and we, we talked a little bit before the podcast so i know you went to the yeah i want to see guardians of the galaxy 3 um okay. yeah what can i say um that's spoiling it uh i mean it's more james gunn uh i feel this is the most consistent trilogy um mm-hmm. in terms of vo- uh tone vibes and just what you expect from that cast and crew you know because you more think about the other than spider-man let me say it has mostly to do with like the ensemble, right? Because mm-hmm. Spider-Man, you know, it's, it's mostly him, focus on right? It's easy to focus on him. But the 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 fact that the Guardians, like throughout their own movies, but also the Avengers movies that they appeared in, uh, you know, in the cameo and Thor, like they just feel consistent from start to finish, and that's you know what I attribute directly with James Gunn um, caring about these characters and the project and stuff like that. So, um. You know, kudos to that. Uh, you know, when you look at, like, the other trilogies where it's like, oh, characters come in and they come go. Like, you know, uh, I love Captain America, obviously, the trilogy. But, like, you know, second one was, like, Black Widow and uh, Nick Fury focused. And the third one was, you know, Avengers 2.5 or whatever with, mm-hmm. you know, all the Avengers and, and stuff like that. Whereas, like, this is, like, mainly the core Guardians, but, you know, plus or minus people depending on, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. what happens in the story and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... Uh, I loved how they kept, you know, the comedic timing and stuff like that. But, you know, also there was obviously drama and tragedy and stuff like that, Mm. which handled it way better than, you know, let's say like Love and Thunder did, which I thought (laughs) was a poor way. Exactly. I, I, you know, I don't want to pick on what, uh, Watiti, but, um, you know, he he just went too much. He went too far. Uh, in we had a great Thunder. spoiler cast for that actually a mm-hmm. while back. Um, for those just joining us on this podcast, go on back and listen to that or watch that on YouTube. Uh, and it, we were talking about the fact that like that had such a great dramatic story set up, and they just never, mm-hmm. never just took it on ever. Like they just tried to be too comedic, and they never touched it. Like yeah. it just left it out there. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So this does this does at least blend it. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. And you know, I will say. Um, walked away from this caring about characters that I may not have cared about so much beforehand and stuff like mm-hmm. that and just seeing a definitive end to the team that we know like it definitely did actually hit me in the feels like a lot more than I anticipated just because it's like wow this has been a franchise for 10 years now and that's that's it for this you know group group of uh, characters yeah, yeah this group of characters and stuff like that uh, but you know as we know them as we know them yeah. uh, the way things end uh, Interested to see, you know, 
who and what happens next, depending on involvement, obviously, and contract renewals and all that stuff and, you know, whatnot. But uh, even if it doesn't, it's great closure to the you know, franchise. I, was, um, I haven't heard, and I don't know if you can say this spoiler-free, but how is Adam Warlock? <laughs> uh, I don't know much about his um, comic I much character. Either, I, uh, I don't know either. It's he definitely like... he he definitely has a, a good presence whenever he is around. Um, he's not a focal point of the movie. He's uh, oh, okay. He, he's there though. He is a okay. a, a force. And, and you know when did, you did he feel like did he feel like the game? Remember the video game where he's kind of very uh, more of a comedic kind of leaf into it. I, I don't know. Uh, it, the new video it, game. The new video, yeah. Video game. Uh, like in, in a way, but but um, in a different way. Like yes, but 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 also no. So my only like real knowledge of him is from the World War Hulk storyline, where like he's got to get called in to stop this. Yeah, I mean he's he's definitely powerful as hell. Like he's like in, top three. As yeah, as character. like he shows up and you're like, oh, okay, shit, shit went down, and uh, you know, hope. Mm-hmm. Uh, Things aren't going to happen. I, I mean, and any any part he do, does usually show up um, has, you know, some humor parts. Not directly just because it's supposed to be humorous, but like kind of like just the audacity and stuff mm-hmm. like that of uh, things that it's hard people to get that to. guy, the actor um, that plays him. It's hard to not think about we, where the Millers though. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally such see that. Like a complete polar opposite of mm-hmm. the character. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what I will say, uh, seeing it, uh, I saw it Saturday. Um, I, I guess the pandemic is officially over because people clapped at the end again. I have not seen that oh. since probably No Way Home. So, <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Look, I think he did, uh, what did he do, 114 opening? 118? Yeah, I mean, that was... 118, I think. Unless they adjusted. It was readjusted. It was, no, it was adjusted. It was adjusted 118. I, I heard 114 estimates. So, they got 118, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and uh, A little on the low end, but... Yeah. We can... Oh, but good, actually, because I was... You know... I think I started to block, buy into the, the the superhero fatigue more than I wanted. Like more than I wanted to believe. Even like I just started thinking like maybe the, maybe Marvel's just misstepping. Maybe they're really just starting to lose that steam they had because of what they did with Endgame. Like I started thinking about that, and they have a little bit. You're right, but but the strong franchises still will bring the people to the theaters, and they will still. If you have a good movie, you'll still do it. Yeah, I mean. You know, we can get into it, but, I mean, it's a combination of factors. You could still talk, I mean, the box office overall, you know, outside of Mario, I mean, this year <laughs> it's not been good for the box office. Like, even the past 12 months, like, yeah. One or two movies every year, like, you know, with Maverick and... Av- and Avatar, Avatar too, like, yeah. They're, like, outliers, so, you know, it's, it's kind of yeah. in line with everything. I'd yeah, say. I mean, but I know there's... I plan yeah. on seeing it on Saturday this week. I just, unfortunately, wasn't able to. Yeah, yeah. Life happens. Um, it's... The, the good thing is here is uh, the cinema score was an A, so that uh, bodes well for its legs. And internationally, it stepped up, actually. Um, and, you know, you want to talk about another factor there is just China's just very not receptive to American movies anymore. You know, there's that solid 10 years or so where all these movie companies were, like, making concessions to, you know, really accommodate the Chinese market and stuff like that. Uh, and now that well has dried up, you know, for whatever reason or another, so... Uh, you know, just another factor. And then I, I still feel like the turnaround 60-day window from, you know, release to Disney Plus absolutely hurts and, a lot of this. Which, this is completely side subject here, but the Little Mermaid live-action movie is coming out at the end of this month. Mm-hmm. And crazy enough that you brought this up because I, brought, I talked to my stepdaughter. And I'm like, do you want to go see this in the theater? And then she's like, well, when, how soon will it be out on... Plus, and I was mm-hmm. like, forty-five days. And I'm like, whatever. And she's like, okay, well, she's like, no, then I don't want to go to the theaters and see it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay. So you said this. I'm like, this is crazy yeah. that this is actually like a thing. Um, for so the, for kids. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. I actually feel like, um, you know, depending on how things are going, because obviously we have the writer strike, Disney's restructuring with Bob Iger coming back and stuff like that. But I, I have a feeling that that uh, well is going to dry up uh, for Disney Plus too, because you know they threw so much money at making this service launch uh, successfully and stuff like that. And now it's like, oh, well, we got to think about profitability and stuff like that. And if it's hurting their, you know, uh, concession sales at the box office um, and not pushing the subscribers that they need, I mean, I could see them doing like 90 days, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 90 days, be. I think, is probably the sweet spot for getting people 
back into theaters. Uh, aside from that, just the uh, more DuckTales, uh, <laughs> the cart, the newer cartoon show. That is just so well written. I love that show. Like, um, makes me sad, like done, done. But yeah, it's really good too. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it got its run before. Yeah, it, it did. Yep. Oh my god, this strike, dude. Okay, we'll get into that in the news. Uh, yeah. We'll get that. All right, um, Mike. What, you watched anything good? Um, I finally watched the last episode of The Mandalorian for this season. Um. It was all right. I, I was kind of expecting a little more of... I expected some sort of twist, but never came. Oh, yeah. I had to call you out on the gym, because I, I saw it last, you know, for last week. That episode, that finale, I don't know what you're talking about with a, a clear mission for... Or newfound thing for Grogu. I said it could be an ending. Oh. Hmm. I said I, it could be, I, it could be an the ending, but... <laughs> I felt the same way after season two. I do. I kind of feel like it's also a, this was a convenient sort of reset as well. This one feels more like they're resetting so they could do whatever. Then I guess that's uh, really what they did. I, I saw it like they could also just end it the way they ended that. So they could, um, but they're not going to. <laughs> um, they won't. But you know, it, it was okay. I just wanted, I don't know, something a little more complex plot-wise for the whole season that I really expected. A betrayal from someone, but it didn't happen, and I was kind of yeah. bored by it. I agree. I agree. I was ready for a plot twist we didn't get, right? So I got yes, you a little bit. Yeah. But you know, yeah. it was fine. It wasn't bad, but it's oh, yeah, you know, yeah. nothing special. Okay. Um, Corey. Um, the only thing I wanted to mention really was like, have you guys watched Taskmaster at all? It's this no. British show. Uh, it's like. So basically, oh yeah, I know what like, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I just like watched it for the first. It's like got like 15 seasons, so it's been around yeah. for a while. Yeah, um, it is pretty hilarious because they just take like these comedians and then have them do these tasks, these random tasks, and they all have to do the tasks, and uh, they time them to see how fast they do them and give them arbitrary points, whatever, and see who wins at the end. Um, but all I will say is you have to go and watch the Taskmaster episode with the Tree Wizard. Just type in YouTube Taskmaster <laughs> Tree the Wizard. Fuck? And okay. That is, is hilarious. All right. So uh, that's all. Uh, go do that and yeah, have a good, have fun with it. But um, season two or series two is, is, is a good one from what I've seen so far. And it's on YouTube, so you can just watch it there. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, just to finish up the box office, Mario had its biggest drop off since yeah. in theaters, fifty four point six percent. You know, lost so, all its premium theaters, the Guardian. So uh, you know, it did. Uh, it did um, eighteen point five million, uh, which is pretty freaking good for its fifth fifth week in the box office. Um, mm. Evil Dead if it's Rise still in theaters in two weeks. I might watch it. There you go. Oh, Evil Dead Rise. Be. Are you there, God? And Love Again was your top five so okay. all right let's move into some news we've got some stuff going on if i can change channels here here we go uh let's see let's start with wait let's kick it off with the writer strike let's just start with the writer strike so that's happening that's a thing uh now this happened years ago as we were talking about we we talked a bit about this last week mm -hmm. so is there something new we can talk about with it or not <laughs> no i mean i'm just bringing it in like with how long it's going to last i posted a couple articles with the fact that okay. this time around this time around i don't know if you guys mentioned this last week but this time around um it, it seems like it's not gonna be as long it looks like there's a lot more support from I'm the hoping actual that they learned from last time and was like yeah. you know we all suffered like us as the viewer suffered <laughs> and then you as the you know, making money i want money it, you guys suffer too because yeah. The quality people just fell off. Like they just did not watch, did not, you know, mm -hmm. not pay for bad content. So it like, killed a lot of shows. Yeah. It did. Uh, and I do see support though. Like you know, like the George Martin uh, Hedge Knight thing that's in production got halted, and he's not working. Nobody's working actually on that set. Same idea with Daredevil. That's um, completely on hold. Stranger Things, the final season's on hold. Mm -hmm. nope. uh, it looks like, I mean, that's a huge company to be affected. Netflix. They're not going to be very happy that they're maker like that that's already been you know dragging it you know it basically comes out so takes so long to come out is going to take a take a longer time to come yeah. out 
So mm-hmm. I do see this as being a more impactful strike mm-hmm. and it will end yeah. sooner. I mean, I think that's the yeah. one of the big differences this time around is like now streaming is a thing, right? Whereas back then, you know, for the TV shows... Um, that's literally why we have this strike right now. <laughs> right, streaming. right. And, and it's poetic in that way because, you know, last time when it happened, it was like, I feel like the TV show writers, like... I feel like the companies are like, oh, whatever, we can wait them out. Like, who cares? You know, miss a TV se- yep. season or whatever like that. Now right. it's like, no, that's your bread and that's your bread and butter. Like, that is how you are getting active subscribers to your fucking you know services. Uh, you you're gonna tell people, oh, Stranger Things just got delayed a whole another year. It's like, well, shit. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, who knows? Why would you subscribe now? You know, it's all like that. So it just delays it. Around two, you got all these actors that are standing behind the writers as well, and they recognize the that they can't do their job without mm. a good, like a good script. And like, if they have bad scripts, they're gonna look bad too out there, and that's gonna mm. affect their, you know, value and things like that. So, I think that yeah, this this to go around. It's a lot more public, a lot more. Uh, you know, I think more people have like, plus social media is a bigger situation. factor this time around yeah, too. You know, exactly. You get more and vocal support this time from a lot of they, the fans. Right, they can right. see it. You can see it. So, which is good. So okay, let's get into some news then. Uh, mm-hmm. We've got. Uh, I just want to say Churro did agree with me, and he generally loves the uh, Fast Master show. I assume is what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I did see that. I was like, yeah. Okay. Was it Taskmaster? The churro you were talking about? The churro know. also wrote down that you, I think, were watching. <laughs> yeah. Taking receipts. Oh, yeah. uh, great. <laughs> no, I am. I promise. I am watching. I promise you guys. I am watching Spirit Away. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> I don't think you are. Watch it with your daughter. Jeez, that is a prime movie yeah, to watch with her. What's crazy? She's oh, you, you've seen that. But like, I'm sure she would want to see that with you again. She's watched a lot of these movies already they made, made, uh those sorry the, ghibli? Like, yeah ghibli uh and the, she watched a lot of those things so she was telling me about them herself and i was like wow you've actually you have seen these uh but <laughs> you've I, actually car, seen but, <laughs> like what when she says it i'm like oh yeah, yeah okay sure you? uh our urban is uh in final negotiations this has been reported by multiple people so this is happening as uh to be johnny cage in mortal kombat 2 mm. Uh, too bad that first uh, one's fucked. Uh, maybe there'll actually be a tournament in this movie. I still haven't seen that one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was This is just. This is. It's just something where. Sorry, we just we cannot get on the same page. But it was just I. I expected it to be better in the. And it was like the same level as like the old '90s movie, just R-rated. That that was the problem with it. Oh, you just reminded me really quick. I got to rewind. I did watch the Power Rangers special as well on Netflix. Oh, yeah, okay. oh. Did you now? Oh. Did you did you feel like I felt as a sort of half-assed Power Rangers fan that again you expected a modern sensibility to be applied to make this better, or was it um, what you expected? I mean, I'm I'm only like a half Ranger fan anyway. I mean, I I, I get oh, yeah. what you're saying, but at the same time, like I feel for the, the core audience, like the, the the Power Ranger diehards, like the people that love Power Rangers as I love Transformers, or you guys love like Batman or you know He Man or whatever like that. I feel that served this very well. Um, me, it's like okay, like kind of shrug, like I I would have done a couple things differently or wanted to see mm-hmm. a couple things differently, but I think for the core demographic, it probably served it well. I mean. I just thought if you were gonna, you know, do something after all this time, you would put a little more into it than just basically this... an hour-long episode with forty-eight-year-olds. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're testing the waters. I mean, this is the first production under Disney. Right? It was... Disney Netflix. owns it now. That's... I know it's on Netflix, but I'm. I could have sworn Disney owns cool. Power Rangers now. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Let me see. But uh, there's always a chance Disney owns it. If you don't know, <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah, I mean it's it's whatever. If it launches a new thing, then um, you know that's that. Uh, but, 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 yep, purchase the franchise as part of the bio of Fox Family Worldwide. Wait, that's an old, so maybe not. Hmm. No, whatever. Anyway. It was okay. It was whatever. The CGI Megazord was awful. That was the worst. Yeah, thing. that that was that was bad. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I want to see that. No, yeah, don't. I, I mean, I'll probably check it out. Unless you're a really big 
Die Hard. I, I enjoyed. If if you really want to see a Billy and Zach acting like parents, this is this is the movie for you, the hour long movie for you. Got it. So I just see that's the one thing I don't get. Like you, you and Jim are all about like Indiana Jones seeing an eighty year old man run around doing no, no, stunts no, and stuff, but like Power Rangers. Reasonable... This Go is ahead. the thing, though. It's those are like the least popular like rangers honestly i feel like maybe, maybe some people might like them but you know if it was you know some of the more if it was like tommy who obviously can't or <laughs> you know you know jason or like the bigger ones like or if they actually made like jason i, I mean mm-hmm. tommy and kimberly like a couple couple which they don't in this i don't know it's just they're like and they're not like i don't know they're like forced into it too. It's weird. The stuff was it was it was weird the way they became like parents anyway. A cringy from the trailer. So I, I mean, know. yeah, it's supposed to be like it's, it's can't it's be equal. It's equally as cringy as the old show was. Like not yeah, that's not horrible. even a step, not even a step yeah, down from yeah, that. Maybe some people <laughs> like that though. So yeah, yeah. What we got in the news, Jim? Uh, cringy. <laughs> Let's see. The uh, Marvel. Is going to well. It's a good thing. Uh, reportedly preparing to recast, potential recast for Jonathan Majors. So yeah, uh, I did see to do it. The report of the, yeah, they're preparing. So I don't know if that's happening. Mm. Is it 100? percent I don't know. I'm sure they're but doing. Know that his... <laughs> they're doing auditions yeah. right now. Just be like, hey, mm. I'm sure they are. <laughs> we need you they on standby. To yeah, they definitely need to make sure that they get their ducks in a row and just make, and be ready in case they need to make a change. Is what I'm. Yeah, I mean, thinking. it's a pretty easy change with the multiverse but it's like it's pretty crazy that the one character that they've pasted his face on thousands of characters like has to get recast because he's a um, reportedly uh, an ass um so yeah i just i i feel like he's uh, whatever i'm not gonna get whatever we talked about him enough so yeah mm-hmm. it's just yeah but it's too late for loki yeah, too yeah. he's gonna be in it for loki too so he, you know we'll yeah, find so, out yeah we'll see him in loki too and We'll see how this pay, plays out. I'm glad to see that there's reports where they're looking at, re, re, you know, casting of him, uh, and I think that's 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 prudent. That's yeah. prudent for yeah. what we see. They're not like Warner Brothers and just gonna stick their yeah yeah. And in that's there. where I'm kind of hinting at, like uh, yeah, we're gonna give them Ezra. credit ahead of time, though. We haven't seen him say anything yet, so we'll see. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So all right, let's go over to uh, Warner. Let's talk about Superman. Superman Legacy cast. So they had the Guardians launch this weekend, so they got to speak with James Gunn, uh, and they um, two. I think two scoops were one. I read that Crypto is going to be in this movie, uh, so his dog is going to be in it. That was mm-hmm. dropped by. I mean, Chris James Pratt. Gunn needs a, a cute animal character in his movies. Interesting. Yeah, that was that was already <laughs> dropped a, a leak by Chris Pratt in an interview, uh, mm-hmm. which t- wondered how much has he shared of this movie with the Guardians cast, but apparently there will be Guardians cast featured uh, in this movie. Yeah, he already he confirmed on... Surprised. He did a like AMA on Twitter, uh, and they act, uh, somebody directly asked him, like, will we see Guardians uh, actors in Superman? He's like, yes. So, I mean, one or more. I'm sure it's Dave Bautista, at least. Michael yeah. Yeah. Rooker, definitely. I mean, it's not surprising. When directors find people that they like, they like to keep cast. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's why you see them pop up. I mean, look at... Um, uh, Chris Nervon. Inception. Yeah. Uh, Chris, yeah, thank you. That's thank you. That's exactly what I was I was no, no, saying no. to somebody. It was like, yeah, that's what happened with uh, Chris Nolan. He was like, hey, you guys did awesome on Batman. You want to come do Inception with me? Right. I mean, it, never, yeah, it's it first easy to do a bunch a of movies with DiCaprio, mm-hmm. so... Yeah. yeah. They're definitely... Yeah, um, like you get comfortable with people, you know how they perform. You know. How yeah, they absolutely. Perform. I mean, why wouldn't you want to work why with the people you? that you, you both had success, and so yeah, like, makes exactly. Sense. Especially after ten years. Like, it's ago. years when like uh, this like whole thing with the Jets and stuff. But anyway, at sports. And then uh, yeah. related to that, I think James Gunn right before the writer strike did turn in the script for Superman. So he, he mm-hmm. did confirm that that was finished prior to the strike. So yeah. that's done. Um, not delaying the pre-production of the movie, which is, I think, a good thing for Warner. That's good timing. Um, it's something that they they need to get moving with. Um, he yeah, also, I think, well, he mentioned like he did the backstory of the, the Infinity Stones in like ninety minutes. Like, oh, we need a backstory. Did see like, that? Oh. Did see that? <laughs> um, it popped that out in an hour and a half. Wow. Mm-hmm. So crazy. Yeah, I mean, this year is uh, just going to be really interesting for Marvel. 
Um, oh, I don't think I posted, but I think Blade is, uh, because the writer Strike is going to get delayed again or something like that. I just yeah, I read I that. I think yeah. it wasn't it's finished, so they were back in. Is just... Well, even if the I script is finished, usually work. you want to have the writers on, you know, on set still, just in case they're... That's what, some of, that's what, that's that's what I like back, about... Like, they were doing rewrites and stuff on it. Mm-hmm. I think, cause... Were. Cause oh, yeah. Mar- what's his name? Uh, Marshala, the lead actor, Ali, Marshala, Marshala, Mar- 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 yeah. Uh, he, um, Ali. Uh, Let's go with the last he name. He said that he was not happy with the way that they, with the script that was turned in, so they're rewriting that. But um, even done, it doesn't matter though. Like that's what we were talking about at the beginning of the podcast. Just to go full circle here. There's support now from from crew. Like even if the script is done, they're not filming. They're because mm-hmm. again, usually the writers are there on set to confirm, like make yeah, sure things are going would... the way they intended. Typically, you would need to rewrite a bit too mm-hmm. after that. So. So, yeah. so, all right, and that's that's pretty much it for the news. Uh, got nothing really mm-hmm. else. I mean, this is Elite cool. Battle Angel Two is in production. I don't know if you guys mentioned that last week. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Really, it's actually happening. Apparently. I'm surprised that season. honestly, but I mean, whatever. James Cameron just made another two Billy, so he can do whatever the fuck he yeah. wants. Yeah. I mean, it's going to steal from that tech, so they're going to take Avatar's uh, Avatar 2's tech and put that into the movie. Mm-hmm. What they've learned. Yeah. Well, I hope he does a. I hope he does a. I like the movie, but uh, there are definitely things yeah, I want I think... out of the sequel for the more adaptation side of things. Mm-hmm. But hey, if they're going to do it, I'm I'm all for it. Christoph Waltz was in that, right? I think so. I mean, he was uh, the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like it. That's right. That's right. Yes. I, I really like him as an actor. He's really good. Mm-hmm. He's really good. Uh, all right. Okay, that's it. That's going to wrap up the podcast, folks. Cool. Thanks for tuning in. Put a bow Once on again, it. you can write us at at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter. We have a Discord. If you want to join the Discord, just ask for us an invite. We will send you guys an invite. Uh, what is that Discord, guys? I mean, well, yep. you know that. message us. Ask I mean... for it. Yeah. Ask message us on Twitter. So, you uh, have to generate a code. Twitter... We, don't, we don't know it off the top of our head. We don't. Oh, I mean, Twitch, the invites Twitch. change. Exactly. It's only good Twitch, for someone new. Uh, YouTube, the following day, as I mentioned at the beginning of this podcast, we are on YouTube, so subscribe to that channel because that's got all of our episodes way back to like episode 200 or something like that, so you can way back, uh, you know, and check that out. It's been a lot of fun, guys. We'll, we'll go into the Gamecast next, so stay tuned. We will see you guys soon. Uh, we are out. <laughs>